Mechanical lifting. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to describe the four main causes of crane accidents, describe pre use inspection criteria for hoisting and rigging up equipment, describe how sling angles affect sling capacity, describe safe manual handling and lifting practices, and describe safe forklifts lifting practices. Crane lifting. The major causes of crane accidents includes overturns, falls from crane, mechanical failure, and power line contact. The operation planning steps before startup includes 1. Level the crane. 2. Be aware of job site restrictions. 3. Barricade areas within swing radius. 4. Ensure proper maintenance and inspections. 5. Know the basic crane capacities and limitations. 6. Make other personnel aware of hoisting activities. 7. Ensure support surface is firm and able to support load. A competent person must inspect all machinery and equipment prior to each use to make sure it is in safe operating condition. When hoisting loads in close proximity to energized lines, a spotter must be used. The spotter must not have any other responsibilities. He must have a clear communication with the crane operator and must have a clear view. Load charts and hand signal charts. The load charts and the operator's manual must be available in the cab at all times. The hand signal charts must be posted on machine and in vicinity. The main causes of crane operations failures includes improper hitch, exceed rated capacity, damage during lifting, center of gravity issues, homemade lift point failure, and damaged or fatigued equipment. Inspection Criteria Operators must ensure that rigging equipment has permanently affixed and legible identification markings as prescribed by the manufacturer that indicate the recommended safe working load. Each day before being used, the sling and all fastenings and attachments shall be inspected for damage or defects by a competent person designated by the employer. Additional inspections shall be performed during sling use where service conditions warrant. Damaged or defective slings shall be immediately removed from service. Wire rope inspection. Look for kinking, crushing, bird caging, deformation, excessive broken wires. 10 randomly distributed broken wires in one rope lay, or 5 broken wires in one strand in one rope lay. Look for Core protrusion. Main strand displacement. Wire rope winch lines. The out of service criteria of the wire rope winch lines includes six randomly distributed broken wires in one lay, or three broken wires in one strand in one lay, or one broken wire at end fittings. Sheave inspection. The grooves of the sheave must be smooth and free from surface defects, which could cause rope damage. Web sling inspection. The synthetic web sling shall be removed from service in case of cuts, tears, burns, punctures, illegible tag, or broken slash worn stitches. Shackle inspection. Look for 10% wear in the bow. 10% wear in the pin. Any unusual bends. Any change in shape. Cracks or sharp nicks. Modifications, such as pin replaced with a bolt. Fiber rope inspection. Natural and synthetic fiber rope slings will be immediately removed from service if any of the following conditions is present. 1. Variations in size or roundness of strands. 2. Distortion of hardware in the sling. 3. Powdered fiber between strands. 4. Discoloration or rotting. 5. Broken or cut fibers. 6. Abnormal wear. Check the interior of the rope for broken, melted, and or powdered buildup. Chain slings. A thorough periodic inspection of alloy steel chain slings in use shall be made on a regular basis.
Such inspections shall in no event be at intervals greater than once every 12 months. The employer shall make and maintain a record of the most recent month in which each alloy steel chain sling was thoroughly inspected. Snatch Block Inspection Check for lateral wobble, flange wear, lubrication, or pin wear. Crane Hook Inspections Normal service to be performed yearly. Heavy service to be performed semi-annually. Severe service to be performed quarterly. Load hook inspection. Inspect for wear. For distortion of hook to ensure no twisting, no bending, and no increased throat opening. For cracks, nicks, and gouges. For hook attachment device. For latch damage or malfunction. Working rules for slings. Never use damaged slings. Never exceed the rated capacity. Never shorten with knots, bolts, or other devices. Always protect slings from sharp edges of the load. Always keep hands and fingers clear of slings under tension. Lifting recommendations. Consider lifting factors. Sling angle. Capacity of rigging hardware. Environment factor. Wind and weight of the load. Sling angles. Two slings, each supporting the same weight and having the same support angle, results in an equal distribution of the load to each sling. Load angle factor. Divide the sling length by the height from the load to the hook. By definition, the sling tension is equal to sling length L, divided by the height H, from the load to the hook, and multiplied by the half of the load weight in pounds. For example, consider L is equal 20 inches, H is equal 10 inches, and load is equal 10,000 pounds. L divided by H is equal to 2. The sling tension is then equal to 2 multiplied by half of the load, which gives us a result of 10,000 pounds of tension on each sling leg. Manual lifting. Safe lifting practices. Stand close to the load. Bend the knees, not the back. Grip with hands, not just fingers. Bring the load close to the body. Arms tucked is in weight centered. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Lifting and carrying. Move slowly with small steps. Make sure you can see where you are going. Avoid lifting the load above shoulder level. Don't twist the body, change direction with your feet. Unloading, same as lifting. Forklift lifting. Forklift safety. Inspect daily. Keep wide loads centered. Keep loads low and balanced, tilt back slightly. Refuel or recharge only in designated areas. On slopes, travel with load uphill. Drive in reverse if vision is blocked, except uphill. Back out slowly and check behind you after unloading. Park on flat surfaces with forks tilted forward and lowered, block wheels if on a slope. Lifting and carrying. Don't lift or carry people unless forklift is equipped to do so. Never overload the forklift. Do not travel with forks raised higher than needed. Thank you for your attention. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one. See you in the next video presentation.